It's a, a big tour for you in Barbados, a chance to try and establish yourself in the, in the pecking order. How, how was it from your perspective? Um, it went alright. Uh, didn't go as, as well as I'd hoped, I guess. But um, yeah, we, we played the T20, we won the T20 Cup, which was fantastic as a, for us as a team. But um, for me, it was still kind of dusting off the cobwebs. Uh, could have done a little bit more. Uh, but that's what pre season, pre -season see, uh, tours are all about. So uh, yeah, it, we, we got what we could out of it. I batted once in red ball cricket. Uh, only got two unfortunately, but yeah, I, I could do with batting a little bit more out there. But it was nice to get out there and bowling and, and kind of being part of a of an upside. Um, it was a uh, it was a little bit weird playing against the opposition in New Yorkshire, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. The lads made me feel really part of the team. It was good. You're feeling a couple of minor niggles and a few about in the squad. Are you confident you'll be fit and ready to go for the start of the, the championship season? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I always put 110 percent into everything I do and, and kind of being a I guess elite athlete, you're always going to have these little niggles and you're probably never going to really be 100% when you go on the pitch but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my, keep myself as fit as possible, uh, trying to keep up my skills at the same time so fingers crossed, yeah, 10th of March, I'm just accepting uh, I can put my name in a hat for, uh, for selection. You've had a good look at Yorkshire, you've had a good look at, at Derbyshire, one or two of the counties out there as well. How, how have you assessed Nottinghamshire relative to the teams they're going to face this year? Um, I mean, this, is the strong, this is the strongest I've ever been. Um, it's, it's, such a good feeling to kind of sit in the dressing room. I, I was in awe, I was, I was talking to Fletch um, in the first game and I was like, mate, we've got Hilsey going out, we've got Lumen going out, we've got Titch going out, these boys are unreal vessels. It was so good to be kind of part of that side. It was, it was like reassuring really. Um, but I also asked the question to myself, am I good enough to be in the side? Um, and that's what I really want to do in kind of the first half of the season. I want to be able to show to everybody that, yeah, I can seamlessly fit into this side and I'm as, I'm as good and, and, and I can add to this side. So. But it's a great feeling to be part of this team. Um, you know, playing against the opposition, yeah, Dampshire were good outfit, Yorkshire were good. Um, and uh, I think the uh, Warwickshire side looks decent, they're obviously out in Abu Dhabi now and, and, and they're doing well. Um, so it's not going to be easy, but I think we've got a stronger side as, as we could have. Obviously, we've got Samit to come there, Ed Cameron, possibly Swanee and Brody. So yeah, we've got a fantastic outfit. Uh, just looking forward to kind of getting the push now. Big competition in the in the sea bowling spots. How, how fierce is that going to be? And there's, there's, there's sure to be some disappointed faces from the first game of the season. Definitely, yeah. There's going to going to have to be disappointed faces. You know, everybody was fighting for a few spots. Um, and you know, as, as bowlers, we've sat down and spoke about it. Obviously, there's going to be a couple of disappointed lads not going to the season. But it's a long season, 16 games. Um, you know, we're we're hoping there's going to be kind of a rotation policy. I guess. It's, it's not going to be viable for every one of us to play every game. Uh, we're probably not going to be as strong as fit as we want to do, and, and that's why we've got class acts waiting and the lines to come in. Um, you know, looking down who we've got in the bowling ranks, we've got Gurney, Fletcher, Carts, myself, Frank Say, Ben Phillips, you know, possibly Brody coming back, Andre Adams, mate, the names are on. And how reassuring and how good must Mick feel having them kind of sat there waiting, thinking. You know, if, if somebody breaks down, we've got this one to step in, we've got this one to step in. It's actually a fantastic feeling for him, but I guess it's, yeah, the, 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 comp uh, and the competition for places is fierce. Um, and yeah, everybody's pulling out the stops, everybody's giving 110% to try to get their name in the hat for that first game uh, and trying to stay fit. So um, yeah, it's going to be good to see who goes out, but they, they are going to be a couple of disappointed dis dis faces, but I guess they've just got to keep chins up and, and keep, keep going, keep working hard. And there's definitely going to be places up for grabs during the season. You can hear the hum of the, the building site in the background, uh, the, the biggest outdoor screen in Europe being put up in the, at Trent Bridge. What, what do you make of this, this venue and this stadium and how proud are you now to put it at home? Yeah, it, it is fantastic. Mate. When, I, when I first stepped in, I part the car, part of the cars in the stands that we usually do it, and I saw the big screen go up. It looked amazing. They were showing the highlights of the 2005 Ashes. And mate, it was magnificent to see. And now I can call, you know, this is, this is, this is my home now. Um, and it's, it's a great feeling to be honest with you. It hasn't really sunk in. I guess it'll sunk in as soon as I kind of play my first game walking down, walking out of the pavilion down the stairs um, to, to a decent crowd. And, you know, then hopefully taking a few poles and I can finally call it my home and, 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 and kind of settle in. Um, but mate, how good does the ground look now? It looks fantastic. And, you know, obviously not a lot of people have seen it yet, but as soon as we come around to play some international games here, yeah, I think it's going to be probably up there one of the best crowds in the country now.